we're dealing with that, that very complicated word purpose here. And uh, you know, I think a lot of us would say that you know, to, for us to, to go on living, I mean, if we really sort of have that existential bent, we, we, we need a sense of purpose. And I, sort of the question that we're asking here is, can science give us that purpose? Or do you have to go outside of science to get that? And uh, I don't know, does anyone want to make the case that actually science can help us come up with some sense of purpose? Well, it certainly can if you use it in by analogy or metaphor in the same way that we are very comfortable uh, in saying the universe is a machine. I mean, that's what Newton said, it's a machine, it's giant clockwork. And a machine is a human category, human invention. Um, Aristotle thought the universe was a living system. Uh, today, a lot of people say, well, the universe is a gigantic computer. It's, nature is a computational process. All these are human inventions and human categories. The notion of purpose is a human thing as well. Humans have purposes. And, uh, Animals have purposes. Um, and so what I'd like to say is that the universe is not a machine. Um, it's not a computer. It's not a living organism. But it contains some aspects of those things. So that these metaphors, in a limited way, do apply to what the universe is about. And purpose is not you know, an exact fit. But purpose-like or something, uh, it seems to me, is just as valid as saying machine-like. It's just not as politically correct in this day and age to say the universe has a purpose. I prefer the word scheme, that there's a rational scheme of things that's intelligible. Uh, whether that's a purpose, I don't know. Humans have purposes. We're part of the universe. So in some limited sense, the universe has got to have a purpose, if only from that. But, yeah. but, but I think you, the, the words, of course, mean different things to different people. And they're very so, so Ard, you, you mentioned that you are a Christian. Yeah. And so... Yeah. I'm assuming that gives you a sense of purpose, but what about, what about your science, your work as a scientist? So, so I love science. I think, it's, I think science is the greatest thing that humans have ever accomplished. I think that in science. I'm, I'm really amazed that I get paid money to think about these things. It's people's tax money, so thank you very much <laughs> to all of you. Uh, it's an amazing privilege. I love science. But I don't think my... And science gives me a purpose in something I enjoy doing, but it's not, it doesn't tell me a lot of really important things in life. Most important things are not solved by science. So... Why should I take, you know, what is the value of a human being? Can I measure the value of a human being scientifically? Well, it's, it's insane. You know, you measure the value of the chemicals, like somebody with more gold feelings is worth more than something less. That's silly. Or you measure their brain power or how the community values them or how much economic output they produce. All of these are incredibly dangerous ways of measuring the value of people. We think human beings have, I think human beings have intrinsic value that's independent of of these kinds of measurable things. I think that, I personally think that comes because they are loved and created by God. I have many friends who don't believe in God, but nevertheless, we come to the same conclusion. I'm really happy about that. I worry sometimes about how they derive it. They probably worry about my faith in God. <laughs> um, but I mean, that's a really important, that's an incredibly important thing about, about my life. And science doesn't tell me a thing about that. And it can't. Right? And so I think there's most important questions in life of that nature, the ones that you might put in the category of purpose, are not answered by science. That doesn't mean that science can't help us think about those questions by sharpening the questions and showing us what's a good way of thinking about them or not, but it doesn't give us the answers, and it never has and it never will. Lucien, you, you sort of said that you, know, you're, you, you're, you're, you get nervous if people talk about you know, this, the cosmological evolution has a point to it, but do you grapple with these questions of sort of meaning or purpose and, you know, in, in light of your work as a scientist? Is that relevant to you? Oh, I don't get nervous if people grapple with whether something has a point. They're, they're welcome to do so. It's just not something that is, <laughs> um, that is really at the forefront of my mind. You know, I, I would say that I derive purpose um, not so much out of my work, so much as uh, I... I would say that I derive a lot of joy out of my work, and I derive a lot of perspective out of my work, but I wouldn't say that my purpose comes necessarily from my work. I would say it stems more from interpersonal interactions with people um, and the things that I can do that impact people's lives in the world.